Hi everyone, welcome. I am going to, I am part of Rachel's Wellness VA team and I'm going to show you how to add a sales page to your website and how to link and create a PayPal button for your sales page. So the first thing that we are going to do is when you log into your website, whether you are on Wix or Weebly or IIN, this is WordPress, you are going to go and add a page to your website. Usually there's a spot where you hit pages and you just add new, sometimes you may see a simple plus sign. So we're gonna add a new page and we are just gonna do a spring detox sample sales page. Then I'm going to pull a sample sales page that I have from the past in a Word document and I am going to paste it into my page. So now this is not ready to rock and roll because it needs to be formatted and it needs to be designed. So I'm going to take this, I'm not going to design the whole thing right here, but I'm just going to show you how you can center the text, bold the text, make it italic, change the color, and really make it your own. You know, up at the top is where you can add an image, you know, if you had an, uh, you have an add image or insert image, whether you're on Wix or Weebly, you have to pull it over from the left, or if you're IIN and you kind of look similar to this, you know, add a photo, you know, so I would add a banner to my website. And I would just make it look nice and I would just make sure, you know, it's to the right or maybe I want it centered, you know, this may say spring detox, you know, and you just make it look really nice. And then um, just do a lot of formatting. You can add images all throughout. And then when you get to like sign my sign me up, I am ready. This is where you would insert your button. So we are going to go right to PayPal. When you are logged in, you are going to go to Merchant Services, go to Create a Button for your website, hit Create a Button, put in Spring Detox 2015, put the price at like 147, let's say for just an example. You always want to make sure you go down to Option 2 and you have that button saved. You want to make sure that when you're in step three, if you want to take them to a different URL, maybe it's a thank you page on your website, maybe it's your MailChimp list to complete registration through your sign-up form for their daily email support, maybe it's to your Dropbox, whatever it is, you want to make sure that you have that checked and you insert the link there upon payment so that they can go directly to that URL. So what you're going to do is copy and paste this website code, this is an HTML code, and it'll look like this. So what we're going to do um, is actually, I'm going to go, if you're in WordPress, you're going to go over to the text version. So we're going to add this um, all the way to the bottom, the bottom of the page. And you would add that there. If you're using Wix or Weebly, make sure that you drag, I believe it's from the left, like the HTML over an HTML box. Then you have to insert the, bu you know, the button code. Um, and if you are using IIN, you make sure that you're in the HTML version as well. Text is the HTML version for WordPress. So then there's your Buy Now button, and it works, and everything's great. Now what happens when you want to use your own Buy Now button? We would go to Add Media. I would upload a photo. I want to use this photo. And I want to use this button instead. So I'm going to link this button to that same thing. So how do I do that? Instead of grabbing the website code, I'm going to grab the email code. And I'm going to copy and paste it. And I'm going to click on that image and then hit that little link. And then I'm going to put the button link there. So now that button is linked as well. And you could see, and then I would publish this page. And um, it would be on my website. And then you also want to make sure that you just add it to your menu bar um, if you do want it in your menu bar on your website. 
And you can also see here that when I go to take that same link, with, which you can also insert anywhere. Can, you can insert that into your MailChimp campaign. Um, if you want to make it really fancy, let's say you want to post it on Facebook and you don't want to take people to your um, sales page, you just want them to like, hey, click here or sign up right now, whatever it is, you would take that button and you would customize this little alias. So we would put like spring detox, oops, made no spaces, with Michelle 2015, you would make a tiny URL. Now, if you wanted to share that same button, you can link that anywhere you want to. And you can see here that it works. All good. So that is how you create a sales page. Um, remember to really personalize your page. You can add images all throughout, um, you know, make things look really nice. Um, always, you know, align to the left or center, align to the right. Testimonials can go in quotations. Um, you can make things italic. You can change the text color. Um, you know, whatever you want to do, um, change the way things look as far as font and heading. So wishing you the best and um, you can totally do this.